Hello, welcome to Outside Xbox and some brand new gameplay from sprawling fantasy RPG The Witcher 3 coming to Xbox One, PS4 and PC in May. I finally had the chance to play the thing and I reckon if you're a fan of Game of Thrones this is going to be right up your cobbled street. You see, Game of Thrones managed to shed the beardy reputation of fantasy, de-emphasising the magic, at least initially, and making it all about the characters. The Witcher's like that too. This isn't about micromanaging whether you wear a poison-resistant codpiece or an ice-resistant one. It's about attempting to talk your way out of problems and, if that fails, which, let's be honest, it often does, wading in and chopping off some heads. Yes, I recognise that there are a handful of actual Game of Thrones video games, but even though it's not set in the universe, I reckon this is the traditional RPG that best captures the spirit of George R. R. Martin's often brutal fantasy epic. Here are five reasons why. Just like Westeros, the world of The Witcher 3 is vast and open, a big change compared to The Witcher 2's more linear locations. There are many more side quests and distractions this time around, but they all feature the same level of detail in cutscenes and writing as the story missions. The best thing about that is that the entire thing feels less claustrophobic than the previous game, and when you're tracking a monster, you'll be properly heading out into the wilderness, following footprints and sniffing monster poop. That is more fun than it sounds, honestly. You will give 30, and that will do. Let us settle on it, and I wish to see the transport soon. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you kindly. As in Game of Thrones, The Witcher 3 has a huge cast of characters, each with their own motivations and affiliations. The game takes place in the immediate aftermath of a war between the Empire of Nilfgaard and the Northern Kingdoms, and tensions are still high. Maybe it's the war. The corpses everywhere, the stench of blood, burnt flesh. It drives monsters crazy sometimes. Men, too. Most of the fun in the branching storyline is attempting to keep everyone happy so you can go about your business without getting into unnecessary fights. Obviously, in addition to the choices you make, Geralt has his own motivations in amongst all this as well, the first of which is tracking down his old girlfriend, Yennefer. Yennefer of Vengerberg. Where was she headed? That is a military secret. Yes, like the HBO show, The Witcher 3 isn't shy about nudity. Actually. Let me correct that. Female nudity. This is the second Witcher game in a row to feature a naked lady within the first five minutes, and no, we don't have the footage. Geralt takes his clothes off too from time to time, but CD Projekt Red seems mortally afraid of even showing the Witcher's bum, let alone anything else. Look, this is as close as the camera's prepared to get to his dangly parts. Sorry ladies, perhaps you'll get to see little Geralt in The Witcher 4. Think of your cares if I'm clean. The world of The Witcher 3 is a violent place. This is the sort of grim, medieval environment where a bar brawl can end with a beheading. I'll not drink with Weaver Law's freaks. Fortunately, Geralt's a bit easier to handle in a fight this time around. If you struggle with getting stuck in close combat in The Witcher 2, the new crossbow gives you the chance to back off and chip away at an enemy's health from a safe distance. It's particularly useful against this big, ugly griffin thing. I can only assume the monster was enraged by this guy's dreadful haircut, which is totally fair enough. Gods, that was close. I was sure I'd end up like my mare. Your Imperial Majesty. She's returned, Geralt. After all these years. The final reason Game of Thrones fans should be keeping an eye on The Witcher 3 is that Tywin mother Lannister's in it. Yes, British actor Charles Dance brings a touch of class to the voice cast this time around, playing a similarly powerful, similarly grumpy emperor called Emir. Witnesses claim the wild hunt follows her. You must find her. I didn't meet him during my playthrough, and quite frankly, I'm glad because I'm a little bit frightened he's going to veil our more ghoulish me to bits. I shall give her what she deserves. So there you go, five reasons why The Witcher 3 is video gaming's equivalent to Game of Thrones. But are you as excited for this as you are for Season 5 of the show? Let us know in the comments and like and subscribe for more from Outside Xbox. See you next time.